Alright, so uh, last time I spent way too much time cooking in this game. We only explored a tiny little bit of Shy Guy's toy box, and we spent most of it just doing side quest stuff. But I'm going to try to actually finish Shy Guy's toy box this, uh, this session. Also, I wonder if the code is the same here as it is in Vanilla Game. It's normally yellow, green, red, and then blue. Sure enough, they didn't change it. So technically, we could just go right to Red Station if we wanted to. But no, we've got good stuff over this next way. Exhibit A. Cammy Koopa is going to drop us a Super Soda. Which is good, because I sold all of mine. Alright, Bo. Here we go. That's the that's the shy guy I want. <laughs> Give me that note. Oh wow, that's a lot of shy guys. That is a lot of shy guys, as a matter of fact. Ooh, actually, no. This is the perfect time to use power bomb. <sighs> Probably we didn't have to do that. It did use up a bit of my FP, but that's okay. I want that note. We got the mystery note! It's written in Shy Guy's, but we don't even need it because I already remembered wh what the code was. I don't normally like gambling, but let's try our hand at the slot machine. Shy Guy, Star Star. Oh, hey! I'll take it! Alright, but might as well qu quit while I'm ahead. Ouch! Rude. Oh no, I can't use Star Storm. Okay, this is gonna put a bit of a hamper on things. Alright, we're gonna take out the Spy Guys one by one. Ooh, actually. Let's try. How much? That takes a lot of FP. Uh, I think it's my best bet, though. Yeah, I do not want to have to deal with those stupid spy guys. Alright. Now we'll take out the spy guys one by one. I don't care about the Medi guy. <laughs> In your face! Spy guys are some of the more annoying enemies to deal with, so I want to get rid of them ASAP. I don't care if there's a healing enemy. <laughs> He's gonna heal himself. He's like, oh no, I took one damage. Yeah, we are running a little bit low in the FP department. Mainly due to my power bomb. Oh, that's right! I forgot I had Power Plus equipped. That makes sense. Oh my gosh, I actually was able to time it! I normally stink at timing Paracarry's move. Ah, uh, that's right, the moving block puzzle. I don't like that coin block. It's really hard to get a lot of coins out of it. Easy does it. Man, there are not that many enemies over here. Oh, I, I definitely want that Super Soda. But I want to guzzle it down right now. 
Wait, that only gives 5 FP? I am pretty sure it's, it advertises that it gives 10. What a ripoff. Give me that star piece. Oh man, green station is a lot easier than I remember. There's only one way and there, pfft, there's only a small handful of enemies. Wow. There's only, I think, two enemies for that entire area, and one of them was just the one holding the note. Gotta get that last coin. Stop right there! Um, this is new. Thought you could avoid me, huh? Well, I hope you enjoyed that super soda, because it's the last one you'll ever have. Whoa! Oh, that's bad. <laughs> oh, the... so they do attack... Oh, that's, that's actually really... That's hilarious. <laughs> Alright, well, we gotta get rid of the Medi guy. So you can't cheese your way through all of Bowser's stuff this time like you couldn't for the other ones. Alright, well, we gotta get rid of the Medi guy first, so let's shell shot him. Oof, that was close. I almost didn't hit him in time. Oh no, I forgot the Koopa Trolls can call for backup. Okay, Quake Hammer still flips them, right? Yes, it does! Sweet! Alright. We can even tattle on them. It's a Koopa Troll. Bloody, bloody, bloody. Please tell me they can't attack immediately after flipping back up. Good, good! Oh, wow. This is amazing. I can't. I was wondering if if Bowser would mess up with. <laughs> I was wondering if Bowser would allow you to like just choose all of the tamest items <laughs> unscathed. The answer is no. Oh man, we're gonna get so many star points from this. <gasps> we're three star points away from a, a level up. That's amazing. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love that so much. Somebody told me that that happened last stream. Alrighty. Where would we like to go? I'm actually gonna go to Blue Station, so that way we can, we can open the full loop. I think our little track problem would be fixed if we pull down on that lever. Or maybe not. I'm not sure. Hmm. To pull or not to pull? Well, Sir Topham Hat, we're gonna pull it. <laughs> You pull it, and then everything blows up. Game over. Bada-beam, bada-boom. Well, I'll be just as I suspected. We should have moved that lever a long time ago. Yes, we re we really should have. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. So, next stop, Blue Station, Blue Station. Oh, wait. One thing I forgot to do, actually. I don't have, uh... I don't have Twitch sounds enabled for this. There we go. That should hopefully fix it. Now people can play funny sounds if they want. <laughs> Alright. Well, we're gonna save. And now what I think we're gonna do... We're gonna take out another set of enemies. And this should give us enough star points to level up, and then we can try to take on Anti-Guy. Who will probably beat our butts something awful. Let's see, can we shell shot with Paracarry? We can indeed. Okay, I forgot how good shell shot is. Oh boy, and now Quake Hammer to finish him off. How lovely. And that gives us a level up. Uh, 
All right, we have our new. F we are literally one level up away from capping BP. And what? Unless they raise the BP cap, no, they. I don't think they can. All righty, what should we equip then? With regards to um, fighting anti guy, that is. Mega Rush or Power Rush could be useful, potentially. So could Jump Charge, honestly. We don't need Quake Hammer. Hmm. Close Call could also be nice, for sure. Shrink Stomp. That actually could be really nice for Anti-Guy. That could actually be really nice. And maybe Group Focus? Or Medicine... Honestly? Yeah, I'm gonna see what Medicine Man is all about. Because I have something like a Mushroom. I'm not sure if that would make it like twice as effective or just slightly more effective. We'll try it, though. I'm, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna say we're going to keep fighting Anti-Guy until we can beat him, but I'm at least gonna see how much of a fight he puts up in here. Oh, that's right, I have lemon candy. Do I smell lemon candy? Hey, pal, you have lemon candy and you didn't tell me? Please, I love that stuff. Let me have some lemon candy. Please, come on, pal. Please, just give me that lemon candy, will ya? No. Grr, you stingy candy hog and punk. I should have known not to expect anything from you. You want my treasure? You'll have to fight me for it. You want to fight, you nuts? <laughs> you don't want to mess with me. Are you sure you want to fight? What? Well, all right, I do love a challenge. Here it comes, pal. Don't say I didn't warn ya. Okay. Oh, great! And, of course, I didn't equip feeling fine. I'm gonna see if Shrink Stomp will work on him. Not very effective. All right. Let's see what Anti-Guy's like. Yep! That's about what I expected. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to beat this guy. Yeah, we're definitely not going to be able to beat this guy. At least not equipped as we currently are. Oh, sure, yeah, please, summon more Groove, guys. I didn't want to win the fight anyways. I just realized, though, I'm... Because I don't actually get to move. Okay, well, yep. <laughs> that was a bit of a mistake. I'm going to try more than one attempt, obviously. Now, now that I know what to expect... Actually, I just real. I have an idea. All right, all right. This is gonna require an interesting setup, but I'm gonna try something. Okay, no to shrink stomp. Shrink stomp is not happening. Niver is jump charge. Niver is medicine man. We do want HP plus. Uh, Flower Saver may not help all that much. I want Mega Rush. And I want Close Call. And I definitely want Feeling Fine. Alright. Oh, wait. One other thing. I want to be able to take out all of those, uh, Shy Guys in one go. So I actually do want Quake Hammer. So, let's see. Rats. It would really help to have one more BP. Hmm. Hmm. I'm actually going to unequip d Defend Plus and Damage Dodge. Sounds like a weird plan. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that. Uh, what else do I want? I, w I want Quake Hammer. I have a lot of extra BP to equip then. Oh, I'll equip Power Bounce as well. I think that actually will be a worthwhile investment. And... 
and uh I could do jump charge just in Yeah, I mean I don't really see anything else that would help me with this, so Alright, let's try that. Goombario's my party member. Save. Alright. So with this badge set up, I'm probably not going to be able to beat him, but... I, I love how they randomly made this Shy Guy, like, adore lemon candy. Alright. Let's try fighting Anti-Guy again. Oh wait, why do I have Goombario out? This is not what I wanted to have out. Alright. We're gonna Quake Hammer, we're gonna get rid of the Groove Guys as soon as possible. And in order to do that, we are going to need to power bomb. Now, what I'm hoping for is I'm hoping that Anti Guy will do his like acrobatic attack. Yes. Okay. That's exactly what I wanted. I am now perfectly in peril, which means I can do this. That is decreasing power much more quickly than I thought it would. All right. Sweet. Now we can out of sight! Now here's a question. If I swap to Goombario, he can't actually attack, right? No. He's still out of commission. Alright. Let's try another power bounce then. Alright, well that wasn't enough. <gasps> That's why I had close call! So how much HP is he? does he have now? He only has six. Sweet. Goodbye, anti-guy! <laughs> oh my gosh, I actually beat him! <laughs> Thank you, Mega Rush! And for our reward, we get another Power Plus match! <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. I love that. Alright, thank you, Jump Charge. Thank you, Power Bounce. <laughs> oh, man, we definitely want that second one. Thank you, Mega Rush. Thank you, Close Call. Thank you, Feeling Fine. <sighs> I need one more BP and I can equip... I definitely want that damage dodge. <laughs> oh, look how powerful I am. <laughs> Um, hmm. I actually might unequip Zap Tap for... Yeah, for now. For now, I'm going to unequip Zap Tap. Don't worry, it's not going to remain off forever. I know folks in the audience love their Zap Tap, and I mean, it, it is pretty great. But for the upcoming area, it's not going to help all that much. I love Jump Charge. Jump Charge is one of my favorites. It's pretty busted. And what else do we want? I guess we'll do power bounce and... Actually, no, not power bounce. Or not power jump. I'm actually going to equip group focus. Because why not? All right. <laughs> well, we... <laughs> Man, do I need a medic. <laughs> Wow, I, I, I'm so I'm so happy that that anti-guy strat worked. Granted, we had to rely on getting lucky, because I don't think I have a life shroom. Wait, no, I, I obviously don't, because I died to anti-guy once before. Actually, one thing I could do... Yeah, actually, a change of plans for the badges. I know I keep flip-flopping on this. I'm actually going to unequip Jump Charge and Group Focus and instead equip an FP+. Because uh, we, we were running a little low on FP. Oh boy, Mario! <laughs> Let me go to sleep! Because boy, how the I am on death's door right now! <laughs> Did you sleep well? I most certainly did. We didn't even need the lemon candy. I don't know why I keep checking out Rolf's bad shop. I know he doesn't have anything there. Ah. 
All right, back to Shy Guy's toy box, and we're gonna we're gonna finish it. We just have Red Station left, and we're about to get best party member. Hi, a boing! Wow! What the heck? Where did where did my window go? What the heck happened? Okay, uh, that was weird. That was very weird, actually. Um, apparently... Apparently I, uh, must have clicked something. And it made the whole... the window disappear. Take me to Red Station, bruh. Red station, red station. Gotta get real close to those panels. Give me that star piece. Alright, before we head off this direction, I have a feeling Big Lantern Ghost is going to uh, be a pretty big problem. So, we'll go this way. This room has always been a, a fun room for me. I like... <laughs> I mean, I love this world in general. It really has that, like, whimsical, childlike toy feel. Alright, that wasn't a whole lot of coins. Oh, hi, Pyro guy. I probably should have equipped Ice Power. Oh, well, oh, Barfaroni and cheese. Oh, that's right, I have a second Power Plus now. So I don't even need Power Bomb! Get out of here! How much damage do I do to you now, Mr. Medi Guy? Oh! <laughs> You're on Death's Door, are you? Oh, I feel so bad for you, but I really don't. Wow. <laughs> Oh man, two power pluses are going to make the game so much easier. Alright. Second deep focus badge. I don't envision me ever equipping it, but hey. Might as well have it. Maybe there will be a time where I really want to focus a whole bunch. Alright. We're going in with slightly less FP than full, but that's okay. <laughs> Someone has come. Someone is here in the dark. Wee hee hee hee! Oh, could it be? Wee hee hee hee! It's Mario. Looks like you're mine, Mario. Wee hee! I won't let you go anywhere. Alright, big lantern ghost. Wee hee hee hee! I'll take care of you quickly, then return to my darkness. I hate the light. Then why do you have a lantern? So, I'll take you with me to the deep dark. Something I actually should have done is I should have started with Bo, because Bo's slap ability is really good for this fight. Because she can light up the room nice and easy. Nope, that is not the thing I wanted to attack. That sucks. Oh, the light is so bright! That was my bad. I didn't. I forgot to indicate I wanted to attack Big Lantern Ghost. Oh man, 8 damage per jump. Okay, Mario took damage, but Bow guarded. That's, that's kind of what I wanted. Because I want to tattle this guy. I don't even know why I'm trying to tattle on every enemy I come across. It's just a habit of mine. Big Lantern Ghost. Yep, now he's gonna extinguish the lantern again. Slap, 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 light up the room! And yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> We're going to take him out real easily. 
Oh no, you shrunk me! You shrunk us! <laughs> oh no, now I just have regular attack power. Boo! Ghost pun. Alright. Well, Paracarry, you can shell shot. <laughs> Easy! <laughs> Honey, I shrunk the Mario. I, I must have missed that movie. What's up, Mobius? And Big Lantern Ghost is dead. Wow, Power Plus breaks the game. <laughs> also, yeah, sh Paracarry Shell Shot. Forgot how good that is, actually. No! Hi, mister! I'm Watt! Can I, um, get out of here? I've never actually done this before, but I've heard something happens if you, uh, do this. <laughs> You're crazy, mister! Did you have to, um, blow it up to get me out? <laughs> Jeepers! Hey! Aren't you, um, Mario? You just saved me like a hero! You're a hero, aren't you? You're the coolest! You saved me from the mean guy who laughed like wee hee hee! I gotta make it up to you! I'll go with you, Mario, okay? I heard the, um, Shy Guy saying that you're trying to save Princess Peach from Bowser. You're super great! You're the greatest great guy! I think you're the best! So, um, I really want to help. I'll be good, really. Wada's has joined your party. Press down C to have her illuminate the area around you. With her light, you can see invisible blocks, too. While in battle, she can shock enemies with Electro Dash or paralyze them with Power Shock. What? Was really broken in vanilla game just because her default attack, in addition to just dealing damage on pretty much anything, also pierce defense, so yeah. Ooh, it's pretty dark, huh? I kind of like the dark. But um, now I can show you how helpful I can be, okay? Use my power. Whoa! Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> it's so bright! I bet nobody else can help out like this, huh? Can they? Nope! Now, let's go! <laughs> I love Watt. Watt's the best. Oh yeah, Snowman Doll. Ooh, actually, though. I got to eat the, the mushrooms! I want that Snowman Doll, don't get me wrong, but we're saving that for um, the next world. Yeah, Shy Guy's toy box in particular is just filled with invisible blocks. And I forget where, like, half of them are, so holding Watt can help you see where they are. Sonic! Thanks for the raid! <laughs> nice to see ya! How did Link to the Past go? Did you uh, beat the Eastern Palace? Welcome, Raiders, to Paper Mario Pro Mode. It's like Paper Mario, but hard mode. Oh, man. So we just beat a, a really easy mini-boss and a really tough mini-boss. <laughs> and now we're just facing off some common enemies before we take on the boss of the world. You got the first pendant. Nice! I know when I when I played the first dungeon in Link to the Past, it took me ages to realize that the boss, the Armos Knights, take extra damage from arrows. Because they're, they're giant stone statues. I figured that arrows wouldn't do anything to them, but I was wrong. Alright, what does this have? Oh, a Super Shroom. We're gonna, we're gonna want that, actually. Okay, I forgot. <laughs> I have too much potato salad in my inventory. Don't die. Okay. Um, I'm gonna eat the spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti. I'm gonna fill up on heart points. Oh, we should also set our badge inventory for the boss. Boss is in a, like, toy tank with a lot of defense, so we will not need Quake Hammer. Jump charge could be nice, though. Oh, yeah, I literally have one badge to equip, actually. <laughs> oh, well, if that's the case, then yeah, Jump Charge, I think, is going to be the one. <laughs> you can never have too much potato salad. I, I disagree. I, I love potatoes, but potato salad is, like, the one way I absolutely cannot stand potatoes being prepared. I just don't like mayonnaise. I think that's part of it. A big part of it. Oh, the shy guys, they think they can hide from me. Bombette. Boom! <laughs> Here's Mario! <laughs> I 
<laughs> I love the sound the Shy Guys make. Oh, I love Onion. Onion's one of my favorites. Okay, now unfortunately... Unfortunately, we can't actually carry that shooting star at this point, so we're gonna have to leave it for later. Ouch! I didn't think I... Oh, well, that's gonna... Put a bit of a damper on things. Oh, wait, why did I do that? I absolutely should have jumped on him and killed him. Oh my gosh! I action guarded him! <laughs> I've never action guarded him before. <laughs> Alright, this is what I should have done. Yeah, take that. Take that in your face. Alright. Actually, I don't think it really matters what I do here, because I'm pretty sure Medi Guy is going to heal him. Ouch. Never mind, Medi Guy did not heal him. Excellent. <laughs> Alright, well now in this case, I think we can actually scarf a potato salad. Because Medi Guy ain't going to do any damage to us, and I kind of want to be on full HP when we fight the boss, and this will free up any inventory slot so we can get that uh, shooting star. So yeah. Come here, Potato Salad. <laughs> Are you really gonna heal your? No, he's not. Cool. All right, goodbye, Med Eye Guy. It's been real. Ooh, you'll be playing Link to the Past tomorrow. Tomorrow is Tuesdays are my busy days. I've got work followed by a uh, small group. So, I probably will not be able to do that, but I will keep that in mind. I also think Shaggy is uh, doing Mario Kart that night, so... <laughs> it's probably going to be pretty busy, but I'll pop in if I get the chance. Also, if that becomes a regular thing on your channel, I will definitely pop in when I can. I love Link to the Past. This is a Sleepy Sheep, right? Yeah, okay, I don't really care about the Sleepy Sheep. Hey, did somebody order a light? Run, run for it! Where? Help me! Why is everybody so crazy? <laughs> so you came, did you? I'm General Guy. We're following the orders of King Bowser by guarding a star spirit. As long as we keep it secure, we have permission to do whatever we want. You hear? I don't care for you, sir. You are rude, and furthermore, you're trespassing in here. Our toy box is off limits to the likes of you. The treasures inside this box are for shy guys only. Oh, too late. I already stole them all. <laughs> and that star spirit's fate is none of your business. Prepare to fight me, sir. Taste defeat! Charge! <laughs> oh, man. One of my favorite boss fights. Okay, guys. All together now. Let's rush him. Charge! The Shy Squad. This game has A-plus boss music. Oh, shoot. I'm so stupid. I forgot to get the upgrade block for what? <laughs> There's literally an upgrade block right next to where you recruit Watt, and I forgot to get it. I am so dumb. Alright, it's the Shy Squad. <laughs> The power of Defend Plus! <laughs> Alright, bye, Shy Squad. We probably won't need Watt that much. <laughs> Mercy! He beat them all up! That surely isn't good. Guess it's up to me! Aw, <laughs> poor Shy Guy. <laughs> I love General Guy's toy tank. Mario, you, sir, will pay! You beat my infantry, but that's all you'll do! Prepare for the next wave! Time for Shy Guys on Stilts. Stilt Guys. Go! Attack, Stilt Guys! Fight, fight, fight! Yes, sir! Right away, sir! Oh, 
Oh, Stilt Guys, you look adorable, but uh, yeah, we're gonna beat you. It's Stilt Guy. They do pack a punch, though. I'm kind of surprised General Guy himself is not attacking during this in uh, for Pro Mode. I feel like that's a change Pro Mode would have made. Grr! Unbelievable! I guess it's time for my special battalion! <laughs> Shy Stacks! These guys are actually kind of dangerous normally. But I think we can kill them with a single jump with our two power pluses. Ho 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 ho! I pity you, sir! It's time you paid Mario! ATTACK! Yes, yeah, sir! So I think... Yeah. I think that they will die to one... No, they do not. Alright, well... That's right, they have 10 HP, I think. Ouch! Well, we gotta tattle on one, or else we don't get a chance again. It's a shy stack. So their, their sling shots have a different timing compared to um, Spy Guy sling shots. Gah, gah, fine, I'll beat you myself! Nobody embarrasses the brave Shy Guys of my army! Nobody! Alright, we got a tattle on General Guy right now. It's General Guy and his tank. The tank seems to be dangerous even though it's a toy. Not only does the General give commands, he has his bomb and the electric attacks. How much HP does that light bulb have? We want to take... Oh. Do we not get the chance to tattle on it? We're going to swap to Watt, so Watt won't take damage from the electric attack. I think the electric attack is going to deal a lot of damage, so... I think it's time to scarf my next potato salad. Ah, I can't do this alone! Troop support! Oh, no. That's not good. Okay, the electric attack does not deal as much damage as I thought it would, though. So that's good. Alright, now. If I swap to Kumbario, can I tattle on the light bulb? No, I can't. Okay. Well, that does simplify things. Cooper, get rid of the pyro guy. Is he going to summon troops every turn? Oh, no. He is. Oh, no, no, Cooper's knocked out. Oh, no, and Cooper gets knocked out for so long. Oh, that's bad. Okay, how much defense does General Guy have? All right, still two defense. Okay, this fight might be tougher. Oh, no, why? I gotta hope to put them to sleep. That's like my only chance. Okay, I put the I put the spy guy to sleep. That's good. Okay, well, I think we're, this is just battled over. How much HP does that light bulb have, though? Can I just destroy with a thunder uh, bolt? No, I can't. Okay. Alright, well. That's okay. Learning experience for these boss fights. General Guy definitely is a lot harder if he calls out uh, mooks to attack every turn. So, okay. That's going to change my badge setup. <laughs> Alright, this also does mean, though, I can go back and upgrade Watt. I was being a big, big dum-dum. Yeah, in this room, there's... Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was just like, oh, we've got to find the invisible blocks. Oh, wait. <laughs> that I neglected to get the most important thing. Yeah, this platform up here. This will take us to an upgrade block. And you definitely want to upgrade Watt as soon as possible. Because <laughs> Watt is really good. <laughs> Alright. 
sense. Good. What's in this block? A vault shroom. Oh, wait. Why do I keep doing this stuck gun it? Eh, we don't need the vault shroom, actually. We can make those for basically free. Alright. For badge setup... Actually, here's... Hmm... I actually don't think we're going to need FP plots for this fight. I think we're only going to really need 15 FP with how powerful Mario is. So I'm going to equip Ice Power so I can jump on those Pyro guys' heads. Uh, and that way I can be... Mm, I feel like... Yeah, I'll do that. And then I definitely want Quake Hammer to attack all enemies. And honestly, that might be everything I really need. I could do, like, Power Rush or Close... Oh, I'll, I'll do Refund. Might as well get a little extra chunk of change. Yeah, that's that's what I'm going to do. Now that I know that I'm not going to be charging Jump Charge at all. Or I could equip Power Jump to just make short work of his Light Bulb. And, uh, no, nah, two regular jumps should make short work of his light bulb as well. Alright. Yeah, ignore the spy guy. We don't want to take damage before the battle. <laughs> it's just your friendly neighborhood, Mario. <laughs> Also, wow, those guys are strong. They were able to break through, like, a solid brick wall like that. Alright. <laughs> so, you came, did you? Yeah, yeah, you've already given me this, sh this spiel before. I should probably make destroying his light bulb priority number one. Alright. Oh, that's right, Ice Power now makes the snowflakes appear every time you jump, or use Hammer. I think I think that will be worth it for the Pyro guy. <laughs> Did you just feel a breeze? I thought I felt the breeze. <laughs> Alright, first part of this fight is super easy. It's basically just given to you. Oh, I, I always feel bad for the shy guy who has to direct traffic. He keeps getting hit by the tank. Alright. Shy guy, <laughs> stilt guy platoon, it's an easy one. Can I attack? Oh, wait, whoops. That was... Okay, well, um... I didn't mean to do that. There goes my perfect catalog. Because I really don't feel like dying just to get the tattle. Darn it. I swear I pressed tattle, but apparently I didn't. This is what I get for just pressing the buttons really fast. In case an input gets dropped, you just never know. Darn it. That upsets me a little bit more than it probably should. But it doesn't it doesn't upset me enough to intentionally die. Like I, again, this is not this wasn't really intended to be a 100% run. Also, I'm not sure if the catalog even counts towards 100%. It does in my heart of hearts though. It's just annoying that that was like the one that I missed. Alright. Shy stacks, still guys, shy squads are done. Alright. Tattle on him. Get his HP down. We're gonna swap to Watt to protect ourselves from the light bulb attack, just in case Mario's jump can't actually destroy it in one go. That's kind of what I thought. Alright. Spy guy, great.
Well, it's free star points for me. Let's keep attacking the bulb. Wow, the light bulb has a lot of HP. <laughs> oh man, yeah, with ice power we deal so much damage to the pyro guys. Is the light bulb just indestructible? Because I thought it normally only has 5 or 6 HP. I'm going to keep trying for a little bit, but after a while... Okay, no, I'm pretty sure that light bulb is just indestructible now. Because you can also normally see its HP. Ooh. My high-tech tank defenses don't seem to stand up to that electric attack! Quit doing that! It's it's too powerful! You're breaking the rules of war! Alright, see ya, Sonic. Thanks for the raid. Have a great night. Alright, well... If he does the electric attack again and I fail to guard against... Actually, no, that only deals 6 damage. Alright, now he's, he seems to have ceased with the reinforcements. For the time being, at least. Uh oh. Oh no, what? Oh you 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 jerk wad. Well, we gotta out of sight Mario and hope we can action guard the next attack and hope he doesn't cuss call in some enemies. Okay. Well, guys, it looks like we'll be completing our title log after all, eh? <laughs> wow. Game over. You sucked bad. <laughs> Rats. That's okay. I, I can get my perfect title log now. Man, general guy is tough. Alright, I now know, though, the light bulb seems to be indestructible, so I'm not going to waste a bunch of turns trying to beat it up. <laughs> We've got to beat him tonight, though. I want to make the cleanser... I want to make the detergent cake. The peach... The peach, uh... Cuts... Not cutscene. Uh, the peach, uh, scene, like, after this is the best one in the game, where you have to make the cake, and you can, you can literally just make a cake of pure detergent. It's so good. Oh, wow! We were so, we were so fast, we almost beat one of the shy guys over here. Okay. Perhaps we shake the badges up? So it doesn't look like Quake Hammer is actually really going to help me. Yeah, I'm going to unequip those two, and then I'm going to equip D Down Jump. And D Down Jump will help me actually with the attacks against General Guy. It'll let me do 8 damage to General Guy just by having Mario attack. Taste Defeat! Okay, third time's the charm, folks. We got this. I love how if you have Defend Plus equipped, then the uh, <laughs> the Shy Squad literally can't damage you. Which is good, because that's hard to action guard against. No, run out of the way! No! Dane, I, I remember when I was a kid, I wanted, like, a toy tank like General Guy had. That would be the coolest thing to be able to, like, drive around in. 
Alright, still guys, fight, fight, fight. Alright, this time I'm gonna take it a little bit slow and make sure that I actually do select Tattle, yes. There we go. Special Battalion! Ugh. Wait a second. So, apparently my voice has been on a slight audio delay all this time. I apologize for that. I forgot to change my settings after my Kingdom Hearts run. Wow, I am I apologize for that. Maybe nobody noticed. On it. I wish you could have separate OBS settings for separate scenes with regards to your microphone. Or maybe you can and I just don't know how to do it. Alright, they're down though. Yeah, I'll beat you myself. Yeah, I'm pretty sure when I was reading General Guy's dialogue, people would have noticed that uh, it wasn't <laughs> matching up with what was on screen. Yeah, that's where D-Down Jump is really useful. <laughs> Should have tattled for dog on it. I should have tattled first and then swapped to Watt. Because otherwise, if he does his light bulb attack now, Goombario is going to get knocked out. Oh, thank goodness he didn't. <sighs> Electro Dash! Zolt! Hey, dude, you use electric attacks. I'm just returning the favor. I don't like all these new status effects that, like, all the enemies can do. Especially if they can just stun lock you in place like this over and over again. If I keep dying to General Guy, I'm gonna have to cook some life shrooms. That is the annoying thing, though. Because the light bulb is indestructible, you can't ever stop his electric attacks. That's also annoying. Alright, okay. Let's eat the hot shroom. Poor Bo. Please keep doing the bomb attack. The bomb attack is significantly less dangerous than the light bulb attack. Stop summoning Shy Guys, though. Alright, there we go. Bow's back. Now watch him do the light bulb move. On it! Oh, that's re- Oh no, we're dead. We're dead. We're so dead. We're so dead. Well, we're really dead now. Why is General Guy so difficult? Okay, so, um, from what I've learned from this is you basically can never, ever have a turn end and Watt not be in your party. Otherwise, your party member will get knocked out. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Gotta edit some badges. Hi, hi, Nintendo Addict. How's it going? Alright. No to Quake Hammer. No to Refund. 
We're going to say yes to... Where is it? Feeling fine. I don't want to get paralyzed again. And what else? I kind of want D down jump, but realistically, I probably won't be able to even pull it off all that much. So maybe not. No, that should be fine. All right. I'm going to give it one more go. I'm going to give him one more go. And if I, if I die to him again, I'm going to have to go back and get at least one life shroom. If not two. I was not expecting General Guy to be the difficult boss fight. He's normally a pretty tame boss. Alright. Shy Guys leave. Like, to give you an idea, guys, General Guy is giving me more difficulty than Anti Guy did. Granted, I only just barely beat Anti Guy, but still. I didn't even need the lemon candy. <laughs> I actually beat them to the wall! <laughs> Such is the power of speedy spin. Alright. Shy guys go in there, get out Goombario. Alright. Fourth time is the try. If that's the way to say it. Fourth try. Fourth time is the charm. Dun dun dun, general guy. He is such a butt. The problem is, if you ever have to use out of sight. Oh no, but because I have feeling fine on, I never will. Because with Feeling Fine, I will not be... I think Feeling Fine protects you from paralysis. I know it protects you from poisoning and dizziness. And I think shrinking as well, but maybe not paralysis? <laughs> Bosses in promo mode ain't playing. They want you dead. It's very true. I wanted a challenge, and a challenge is what I get. This fight is not unfair by any means. It's just much more difficult than I was anticipating. Tattle on the stilt guy, don't head bonk him. Shy stack, unite! I like how the shy stacks only have slightly more HP than a single Shy Guy. Getting better at the action guards. You might need some high-end items uh, for the later ones, not sure. Yeah, I most likely will. But right now, my stats aren't even really good enough to warrant needing things like, um... Like Sweet Shrooms or Deluxe Feasts. Alright. So this time, we're gonna tattle first, then immediately swap to Watt. We never want to end our turn without Watt being in our party. Because otherwise, there's a good chance that my party member is going to get paralyzed. I don't think it really makes a difference whether I do this or jump. Yeah. Same damage I've already... Grr! That hurt! Where'd you learn to fight? You must be cheating! Okay, troops move in. Alright. I love ice power. Even if Watt just attacks him every turn, grr, my high-tech defenses don't stand up to that. Yeah, even th with this, just the guarantee that I cannot be paralyzed takes a lot of the edge off of this battle. Man, feeling fine has been, like, my lifeline for this entire playthrough. <laughs> Those Dane status effects.
Good! Feeling fine does protect me from that. Oh, I just realized. I could have taken off Flower Saber. Because I'm not using any FP consuming attacks. <laughs> Oh, wait, no! Okay, wait, no, no, it's fine. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, I'm supposed to jump on his head, not hammer him. It works out. Alright, we're gonna want to eat a potato salad now. I can still try jumping on the light bulb to disable it. Um, I inflicted over 20 damage on the light bulb, and it did not shatter, so... My guess is that it's just you can't shatter it in pro mode. Either that or it has, like, as much HP as General Guy, in which case there's no point. This way seems to be working out. <laughs> just the ability to not be paralyzed, plus Watt attacking the tank every turn. This is slowly but surely chipping him away. Also getting really good at uh, guarding that electric attack. Well, the thing the thing that kind of tipped me off is in the vanilla game. After you tattle on General Guy, you can see how much HP the light bulb has, and in Pro mode, you can't. The light bulb does not have an HP bar, which is leading me to believe that it really doesn't have HP. Please keep feeding me EXP. Alright, one more hit and that'll do it. <laughs> Alright, that, that should do it. Goodbye Pyro Guy, and goodbye General Guy. Alright, that was a tricky fight. Forty star points. Oh yeah, I forgot. General guy gives you so many star points. That went significantly better. All I needed to do was chug a potato salad and equip feeling fine. Yeah! Yippee! We beat the shy guys. <laughs> you were so tough, you silly old. You weren't so tough, you silly old shy guys. I beat him up, didn't I, Mario? You really did, Watt. I don't think I've ever finished that fight with a party member other than Watt, so I've never seen any of the other dialogue. <laughs> Or, heck, maybe Watt just always pops out to deliver that. Alright, guys, it's time for the best part of the whole game. It's time for detergent cake. Boom, bum, bum. Da, 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 You got a star spirit, and it's the end of the chapter. To save the fourth star spirit, Muscular, Mario and team disbanded the gain of Shy Guys at Tufts. Slowly, it seems as if the life force is returning to the once bleak night sky. But the stars won't truly shine until the Star Rod is wrested from Bowser's evil grasp. Three star spirits still await rescue. Where in the world are they being held? <laughs> I know. Lava Lava Island, Flower Fields, and Shiver Mountain. Hey, Twink. Those guards have stopped paying attention to us again. Let's sneak out of here. We might be able to find some news to help Mario. Do you think it's still safe to use that secret path? Don't you think Bowser's figured it out by now since we used it literally right in front of him? Ah, it's still alright, Twink. Bowser hasn't noticed anything. He looks scary, but he's basically a major bonehead. Let's get out of here. Come on. Alright, Peach. I love how I, like, I gave Peach this voice, because I'm like, I can't do girls' voices, and I'm still trying to do like a baby girl voice for Watt. Thank goodness these guards have terrible eyesight. Uh, huh? Who are you? 
I love how I love the lore of like Shia, like of gourmet guy ate the cake in Shy Guy's toy box. Loved it so much that he jumped out of the toy box all the way up to Bowser's castle in outer space and and through the window. <laughs> Why, I am Princess Peach, and uh, who might you be? Oh, you're Princess Peach. Everyone calls me Gourmet Guy for some reason. I have no idea why. <laughs> I guess I'd better report you to King Bowser. You aren't supposed to leave your room. But I am really hungry. Tell you what, I'll keep this a secret if you make me something really yummy. So, Princess Peach, what do you say? Will you cook me something or what? If you can't cook, you can also just give me some Culver's. I'll, I'll totally go for that. <laughs> I'd love to cook for you, Mr. Gourmet Guy, but uh, I have no ingredients and no utensils. Oh, that's no problem. There's a kitchen one floor below us. It's five star. You can go cook there. Peach, you don't know about the kitchen in your own castle? <laughs> Here, you'll need this. This key will open the door that leads downstairs. Now you can get into the kitchen. Why do you have this? We have the castle key. So, uh, I'll just sit here and wait for my yummy meal, okay? Oh yeah, I forgot. There are plenty of guards downstairs, so be careful. I like how this music uses the monkey drum. <laughs> Peach has her servants cook for her. Well, sure, but she should at least know that there is a kitchen that exists. Okay. Oh, come on! Bruh, Princess Peach, what the heck? <laughs> wow, well, you were stupid to run to my flashlight. <laughs> you can't treat a princess this way. Ah, I'm fine, Twink. I was just plain dumb. Thank goodness they didn't notice that the fireplace has a hole in it. <laughs> My head cannon is that the the guards know how Princess Peach is getting out, but also like Princess Peach trying to sneak out is the only exciting thing that happens in their lives. So they're like, you know what? She can't go anywhere. Let's just let her out. That's basically all but confirmed in the next intermission, where she joins the quiz show, and they're like, look, she can't leave anyways. So. Like, what, what's, the, what's the problem? Yeek! Hello? Is anyone in here? Peekaboo. <laughs> oh no! I'm caught for sure! Huh? Princess Peach, you're okay! Thank the stars! You were told from the castle. How long have you been hiding in here? Well, since Bowser took over, I was so scared of being caught that I jumped into this closet! I'm hiding here until Mario comes and saves us all! Princess Peach, you wanna hide too! It's risky out there! Please don't take any chances! Alright, I'm just I'm just gonna get the last stand badge here. That's a good that was that badge was like my savior in the my level one run. Or, sorry, level zero run. Oh, come on! You were supposed to turn around! Ah, Princess Peach! Again? Wow! <laughs> Please stop doing that! Bowser gets mad at us if he sees you. Dude, no one sees anything! <laughs> Thank goodness we can keep rotating this back, even if the button's not on the same side. Alright. I'm not the best at stealth games, for those who didn't know. Let's go in here. I just want to... Yes, put the last stand badge in the chest. We might be needing that. I love the music here. Then again, I love the music in, like, literally every single part of this game. Okay. Wait for him to turn around. Down... Oh, come on! There! Princess Peach again?! This is the third time I've caught you! <laughs> I just want to make a cake out of detergent. Is that too much to ask? Is it?! <laughs> You'll never taste a cake like Peach's cake before, trust me. It's <laughs> its taste will knock you out. 
Hey, did you guys just hear the doors open for a fourth time? Nah, Frank, it must be your imagination. Oh, that would that was my chance. Okay, they do move in very pattern-based ways, so. Dog got it! Princess Peach, you're doing this on purpose! <laughs> Man, my, Peach, my arms are getting sore. <laughs> if we keep doing this enough, eventually they'll just get bored and be like, ah, whatever, it's a <laughs> Tell you what, if you let me pass, Mr. Koopa Troll, I'll give you a piece of the detergent cake. Why do they call it that? Well, it's because there's a secret ingredient in it. Can you guess what it is? Uh, cleanser? Yes! <laughs> in fact, that is the only thing that is in it. Okay. There we go. Finally! Well, it took us long enough. Well, here's the kitchen. So, what shall we do first? Well, first, let's pull out the Guy Fieri cookbook. Princess Peach, this looks like a good cookbook. Let's use it, okay? We need a cake that'll take him straight to Flavor Town. How's it look, Twink? Anything look really yummy? Hang on a second. Oh, how about this? Special strawberry cake. Sounds good. Let's whip one up. Okay, Twink, read me the recipe. Well, okay, please listen carefully. First, put sugar and eggs in a bowl. <laughs> Go ahead, Princess Peach. When you finish, let me know. Okay, sugar and eggs. Sugar and eggs. Sugar and eggs. Butter. And cleanser. That's what I heard. <laughs> of course, every chef has a special ingredient that he puts in every single thing he makes, and mine is water. Can't make a cake without a little bit of water. And it did say eggs, so we're going to put in eggs, shell and all. And it is a strawberry cake, so we're putting the strawberries in the batter. Normally people just put them on top. No, we're putting them in the batter. Done? Yep! <laughs> okay, let's move to the next step. Now, mix and whip the ingredients in the bowl. It's all set. When I say start, press A as fast as you can for 10 seconds. Ready? Go. Start. Did it go well? Yes, I stirred it. <laughs> that counts. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next step then. Now, put flour and butter in the bowl. Okay. Salt. Cleanser. <laughs> Done? Yep. Okay, after you've mixed the ingredients in the bowl, pour it in the pan. On to the next step now. Bake the batter in the oven for 30 seconds. Okay, head over to the oven. You can put the cake in the oven with A. Press A again after you think 30 seconds have passed, and then take the cake out of the oven. You can't redo this part, so be extra careful. Yeah, you can't unbake cakes. It's a sad fact of life. Alright, please put it in the oven. All right, now we let the cake bake. So while we wait for the cake to bake, I decided to take a little break to drink some water, and I got my favorite snack again, dried apricots. The thing I've learned about dried apricots, get them from Costco. They're a lot cheaper at Costco, and they're very high quality, and you get a lot of them. Okay, I think around 30 seconds has passed. Done? Yep. Put the cake on the table! Okay, this is the last thing. We're going to decorate it with cream and strawberries. The funny thing is, if you put the strawberries on first and then the cream, it doesn't work. 
Can we put that? What happens if we put the egg on the cake? <laughs> so apparently there was no yolk in that egg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, salt. <laughs> and of course, we're gonna add a little extra milk, you know, make those teeth strong. Butter, obviously a great addition to any cake. People like butter on their bread, they're gonna get butter on the cake. Cleanser, obviously, make sure that in the, you know, in the age of the Mario Sunshine Corona Mountain virus, Make sure you you stay clean with the cleanser, even when you eat. It's absolutely necessary. And then we're going to just wash it all down with a little glass of water. And then top it off with a little bit of flour. And that'll just make it look oh so nice. Beautiful. Done? Oh yeah, it's done. Yes, we made it! It looks great, but does it taste great? <laughs> you decide. Alright, let's take it to Gourmet Guy. He's going to love it. I literally love how the if you do it perfectly, but the only thing you do is you put the strawberries under the cream. He hates it. Here you go! Oh, I've been waiting for so long! I've wasted away to nothing! Well, I did leave the cake in the oven for like five minutes. Thank you! No! <laughs> ah, disgusting! This is awful! Why'd you learn to cook truck driving school? Go back to the kitchen and follow a recipe or something! What ingredients did you use in that monstrosity? Whatever they were, I think they were seriously wrong. Jeez, oh, picky eater. Okay, Princess Peach, this time we're gonna make a delicious cake, right? We sure are. I know we can. This is gonna be the best cake gourmet guys ever eaten. All right, Twink, uh, read the recipe again. I think I put in a little too much detergent that time. All right, put sugar and eggs in a bowl. I think if you put in two eggs, it doesn't work. Even though it says eggs plural, you only put in one egg. So sugar. Egg. This is the most basic cake ever. It's like sugar, egg, flour, I think butter, and then topped with cream and strawberries. Like, that is not a good cake if you make it in real life. Although, I would want to make a cake that looks like Peach's cake in real life. Like a strawberry cake like that. I think that would actually be really good. Peach is working those ab muscles. That's it! Did it go well? That time it did! Next step, put flour and butter in the bowl. Flour. A little bit of butter. The butter! Done. Yup. After you've mixed the ingredients in the bowl, Yeah, this is a like four ingredient cake. On to the next step. Bake get the batter in the oven for 30 seconds. Also, this is the fa this is the fastest cake ever. Four ingredients, 30 seconds in the oven. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Done? Yep. Part of me wants to show off what happens if you put the strawberries on first, but just trust me when I say Gourmet Guy spits it out. And I really don't want to redo this again. Take the cream, take the strawberries. Doesn't that look nice? Thank goodness Peach just happened to have all the ingredients on hand in her kitchen. <laughs> Bowser's like, what am I going to eat? Strawberries? I'm not using these. I want meat. Here you go. We we made a real cake this time. Oh, I've been waiting so long. I've wasted away to nothing. Yes, I can see you're all skin and bone. Thank you. Oh. Oh. 
Delicious! This is way too delicious! Whew, that was really good. I haven't felt this way since, well, ever! To show you my gratitude, I'll tell you a secret. One of the star spirits is inside Mount Lava Lava on Lava Lava Island. This island is to the south. You should tell this to Mario. But you'd better tell him that there's also a nasty lava piranha guarding the star spirit. He'd better be careful. I really don't dislike Mario. He, took me, he gave me a great cake. That's why I'm telling you this. Thanks, buddy. What a guy. What a gourmet. Twink, did you hear that? Mount Lava Lava. Lava Lava Island. The star spirit is being held inside the volcano. Mario could really use this information, huh? Yes, he could. Twink, I'm sorry that I keep asking you to do this stuff, but can you go tell Mario? Of course I will. I'll do it right now. I'll be back soon, Princess Peach. Ah, what was all this shouting? Keep it quiet in here. It wasn't me. That was Gourmet Guy. So, it was you, Princess Peach. You've got to keep it down. You're a prisoner, and as a prisoner, you need to keep... Where? What are you doing out of your room anyway? Guards, get the princess! Oh god, this is like the fifth time she's escaped tonight. No! Princess Peach, come on, like, seriously. <laughs> I swear the guards let her escape on purpose. Phew! Ah, fresh air! After being cooped up in there for so long, I could really use some outdoor exercise. My name is Muscular. Mario, I must thank you for saving me. Now it's my turn to help you. Behold! Behold! So I learned in my level 0 run that, uh, Chill Out is actually really good. Mario's star energy goes up to 4. You can now use Chill Out, a new star spear power of Chill Out. You can lower the attack power of all enemies. I hope that it didn't get nerfed. Minus free to all enemies on pro mode is still gonna be plenty. They, they don't need to nerf it to 2 or something. Call on me whenever you find yourself in trouble. I'll always come quickly to aid you in battle. Now I'm going back to dear old Star Haven. Mario! Doop -doop -doop -doop. Mario! Mario! I have news! News from the castle! <gasps> Horrible star spirit! Hi! <laughs> hmm... I believe you are Twink, no? You're that youngster who recently ascended from Stormborn Valley up to Starhaven. What? <laughs> you remembered my name? <laughs> he knows my name. <laughs> of course! We're like family! I'm, I'm, I'm so touched! <laughs> Don't make such a fuss, lad. I'm sure you'll go on to do great things. I must take my leave now. Goodbye, Twink and Mario. That guy was pretty cool. Wow! I talked to Muscular, the Honorable Star Spirit! I rarely have such a chance, even at Starhaven. I'm shaking! Oops, uh, I'm sorry. I have important news from the castle. According to the information Princess Peach and I got from uh, Fat Shy Guy... It seems that one of the Honorable Star Spirits is being held at Mount Lava Lava on Lava Lava Island. You wouldn't believe what the princess went through to get this information. She had to make a cake out of pure detergent. She got caught like five times. I hope it'll be of help. I'm going back to rejoin Princess Peach now. Mario is always good luck. Princess and I will keep looking for useful information. Well, that's very nice. Alright, that's right around the hour and a half mark. That's awesome. But first... Let's see what badges we can buy at the shop now. Oh! Okay, well, we're definitely buying all or nothing! <laughs> you only need free BP in this. That's amazing. Oh, wow. Oh, those are only 150 each? Oh, well, then we're buying HP+. Plus. And that's my life savings. <laughs> How many star pieces do we have now? Not a whole lot, I don't think. We just got... Power plus, so... At 10! Not bad. But we're saving up till we get 25 again. Alright. Well, yeah, last last time I streamed this, we went a little bit over time, so this time I think we'll end here. a little, Just a little bit under time, because... You know what? It just works out perfectly that way, and that is literally just the perfect way to end the stream. We just beat Chapter 4, and we made the cake, so... Fantastic. That's it for tonight, everybody. Thank you all for joining in. Thanks again, Sonic, for the raid. Really appreciate it. And we'll be continuing this on Wednesday, same time, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard. I hope you guys join in for that. It'll be a lot of fun. It'll probably be a lot of side quest stuff, but we will at least go to Mount Lava Lava... Or not, we'll at least go to Lava Lava Island and do some stuff there, but probably a lot of it will be just doing... Maybe I'll grind off 
stream for some money. Nah, maybe not. We'll, we'll just see. We'll just continue where we left off and probably do some Chuck Quizmo stuff, maybe some Koopa Koop favors, and then we will eventually go to Lava Lava Island for and try to do at least some of it, because it does. it's not great if I do a whole stream of just side quest stuff. So, hope you guys have a great rest of your evening, and God bless.